to our my name is Pastor Samuel Sumwa Asante, and we go into the word of God, which teaches us, corrects, and rebukes us, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, truly finished unto every good work. Our topic for today is dealing with the world's pressure. And our key scripture is John chapter 7, verse 6. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is already. As children of God, we must be ready always to give appropriate answers to the advancing influence of the world. The whole picture is like walking on water with the waves and wind blowing all around you. If you turn your attention from your source, that is the word, you find yourself sinking into the ocean of the world. The world seeks to drown you and you must not allow that. The Lord Jesus rightly dealt with the menacing pressure of the world. How did he do it? He said, my time. He acknowledged he was very different from the rest of the people. In Daniel chapter one, verse eight, Daniel, the, the young Hebrew boy sent to Babylon, purpose in his heart not to defile himself with the king's portion of meat, which has been presented to their idol. He acknowledged he was different and therefore maintained that difference. The act of maintaining your difference from the world is called holiness. Holiness means separating yourself from the world to dedicate yourself unto the Lord and his word. Holiness, that is separation from the world, is power. When the child of God joins the world in her ways, that child of God short circuits himself from his source of power. When Daniel separated himself from the foods of the Babylonians, God's power manifested mightily in him, such that he and his friends who took that action became 10 times more intelligent, handsome, and wiser than their peers. Second Corinthians 6, 17 says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. In our scripture, the Lord said to his brethren that his time was not ready. Never keep mute to the appeals of the world. Always open your mouth and speak what God has instructed to be told the world. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. And so give lots of ungodly suggestions to people. Be ready to talk back to him. The Lord Jesus stopped Satan by telling him, it is written, do not keep mute to a wrong suggestion that comes to you. You may just say no, or say what God's word says about that particular thing. The next step is to act in line with your words. Do not be afraid to tell men what the Lord wants you to do. If they were not shy to tell you their view, do not be shy to tell them what God says. Amen. Now thought, proper words propels one into proper actions. Proper words propels one into proper actions. Further studies, First Peter 3, 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asked you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Daniel 1, 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the Enos that he might not defile himself. Amen. I pray for you that the mighty hand of God will strengthen you to always stand for him under all conditions, that you will never be deceived to sink into the ocean of the world. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, that rather 
you take along men from the deceptions of the world and bring them into the grace of our Lord Jesus. God richly bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.